Hi Blender fans, I got some requests from you to bring the hard surface model I created and UV unwrapped with Blender and textured with Substance Painter back into Blender with the PBR textures and that's what I did for Blender Cycles and Eevee. In Substance Painter here I also added a dust and dirt layer just to make it look a bit more interesting and to have more varieties in the PBR textures. Okay, then I export the textures for Blender. I added a custom export configuration to export diffuse, an OpenGL normal map, a grayscale roughness and metallic. After the export I open the Blender project with Blender 2.79 and I create an empty cycles material to which I add the principled BSDF shader for PBR texturing. Then I drag in the texture file for diffuse and connect it to the base color input of the shader. In the 3D viewport, I switch to material viewport shading and we can already see this nice diffuse texture. Then I add the metallic and don't forget to set it to non-color data and connect it to the metallic input. Then I add the file for the normal map Add a normal map node and connect it. Also set it to non-color data and then connect it to the normal input. Okay, last but not least, add the roughness file, connect it to the roughness input and set it to non-color data as well. And now we can change to the Cycles Render Preview and this looks really great. For the lighting setup I added an HDRI from HDRI Haven and for the background I used a blurred version of this image. Alright then I save this as new file and after that open it with Blender 2.8. I used the latest build from the 29th of January, here you can see it. Open the new file and then I switch from clay to EV render engine. And this works immediately because the principal BSDF, as the name implies, can be used for both cycles and EV. On the render tab you can switch from cycles to EV. And if you like, you can add some post-processing effects like ambient occlusion or bloom. So that's it for bringing the PBR textures back to Blender. And here's the final EV render and I think the result looks pretty nice. So I hope you like these videos about Blender and Substance Painter and if you like my channel as well then don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this, thanks for your support and come back soon to JNM.